Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. Unless you want average in America, married, 2.4 kids with one and a half dogs. But I can guarantee you, you will never achieve anything greater than your highest aspiration. If you want a million, you'll make a million, not a million five. If you want 10 million, 100 million, and uh, you'll never exceed that. If you change a billion lives, that's a formula to become a billionaire and change the world. Time costs lives. Show me your friends and I'll show you your future. You wanna know why you're all f***ed up? Just look at the bums you hang around with. I do what you don't wanna do, that you know that you gotta do to be where you wanna be. Ted Turner just gave his 75th anniversary party on CNN a few months ago. And he has, he makes a couple of comments and he says, number one, and I'm not suggesting this for everybody. It's how I live though. Uh, first 10 years of my uh, starting CNN, uh, I slept on my couch. I, had, I didn't have an apartment. Bill Gates slept in the office. Steve Jobs slept in the office. And I can go down a whole list. Now these are super successful, mega wealthy guys. I slept in my office. Not everybody's willing to make that sacrifice. But it's not the only thing. But even if you don't sleep in your office, if you want to send your kids to a better school, if you want to be able to take care of your mother when she gets dementia, if you want to do, this all takes money. When I, my children aren't getting any of my money when I die. Not, not one centavo, not one penny. And um, uh, two of my kids are cool with it. One of them's not so cool with it. I'm not gonna, uh, you know, I, I think Andrew Carnegie, by the way, Andrew Carnegie, arguably the richest, most successful entrepreneur of all time. He said the, uh, the, the best thing that you can have for a child is him to be born into poverty. And I agree. lack of self-esteem, uh, lack of self-worth. Now they think they have self-worth. They think because they made a few bucks. But in actuality, and when they measure it against the other eight, 10, 12 people sitting around the table, they realize, or they start to question, hell, maybe I was just lucky. Now all of us, when you're only a one trick guy or gal, think, was I lucky? Now I've done it so many times, I know I'm, I wasn't lucky. I might have been lucky the first time, but I'm not, I haven't been lucky the 15, 20, 40, 50, 60, I know that. Okay. But maybe I was lucky the first time. The, but my life changed when I went, I was pretty much a, a, a haphazard kid, got in a lot of trouble, got arrested four or five times, thrown in jail, and this is when my dad's a cop. But then I went, I volunteered for the draft um, in 1966, at the height of the Vietnam War, and um, I went to OCS, and that changed my life, because it was the really first real high performance thing that I could measure myself against other, with other people. Two thirds of all Fortune 500 uh, CEOs have one thing in common, military background. Really? Two thirds of those two thirds have something else, martial arts. What do you learn in martial arts, Brian? Discipline, focus. A lot of people don't believe they deserve to be there. I convince them and uh, we have these drills, why you belong there. A lot of people that come there, you know, with money, that have made money, think they made it by accident. I just had one of my superstars who's made a hundred million bucks tell me in the last week, you know, I'm not sure I'm gonna have another lucky accident. And I said, you did it. I mean, you, you know, you tried a lot of things. I believe, Thomas Edison, I, would, I wouldn't have done it 10,000 times. Okay. I would have hired an engineer from MIT to do it. <laughs> but I mean, uh, I've tried a lot of things. Nobody's failed at more things than I have. And the first hundred million are successes, but I could write a book about failures that it'd be, I mean, because I've tried a lot of different things. Because failure is just testing. And uh, one of the reasons I've been so successful in generating this equity and value in my kids, and I call you all kids, is because I convince them that making a mistake is okay. Your parents probably told you, 
You can be anything you want. But you can't. That's horse <laughs> You can't. If it's all juxtaposed. So, but what you tell them is that you can do anything you want that you have passion for. Because that eliminates most of the crap. Because most people don't follow their dream. You know, like they say in The Sound of Music, you can't have a dream come true unless you have a dream. Now, I still dream. I dream in Technicolor. I say my affirmations and goals every single night. It's bloody hard to be a high performance person. Perfection equals paralysis. If you left it to engineers, no car would ever come off the assembly line. No car would ever come off the assembly line. And I've been in business with enough engineers, I, I can tell, attest to that with my hand on my heart. They, they'd still be trying to make it better. And the internet business is very much the same. The internet kids want to test and test and test and they want the, the landing page to be this. And roll it out. The great thing about the internet is your, your results are instantaneous. If something that I'm overseeing at a Concord level, 60,000 feet, doesn't work in two days, forget about it, move on. And uh, today uh, at our meeting, now the young kids are, uh, we ran it three days, uh, sir, and uh, we closed it down. And they are thinking I'm gonna ask why. I said, no, that's fine, next. Because without them making mistakes and without them being allowed to make the decision, they never get any better. And 95% in, in of the time, I know probably better than they do. We're never gonna be able to know everything or have them know everything unless they make some mistakes and get comfortable with making mistakes. What gets measured gets accomplished. Without measurement, you're just fooling yourself. Before I had any money, I used to go to the Rolls Royce dealers and sit in the cars and smell the leather, touch the leather, okay? I went to million dollar houses and my wife and I would walk through the house and they'd say, when are your parents getting here, kids? No, we are the buyers. Uh, practice within when you're without. Practice being successful. How many people listening to this today practice being successful today? Through affirmations, through going to the Rolls Royce dealer, if, maybe Lamborghini, maybe something else. Right. In my particular case, it was Rolls Royce. And within a year of me going to the Rolls Royce dealer, I had a Rolls, okay? Within 19 months of me dreaming and adding it to my goals, a castle on an island, I own Guthrie Castle. 19 months. Okay. Go to stores you can't afford. Go um, hire lawyers you can't afford. Lawyers will meet with anybody. Accounts will meet with anybody. Go to the big four accountants uh, with a business idea. The first couple of meetings are for free. Jettison probably a lot of the people you'll hang around with. If you have if poor public speaking skills, join Toastmasters. Do these. If you, go, if you went to a good school and you're not successful, go to the alumni deals, okay? Uh, I didn't go to a good school. I'm a perfect living example that a lot of trouble as a kid, um, working class background, my parents, uh, went to uh, uh, just a mediocre university that I flunked out of three times before I finally graduated with honors, but, uh, and had no money to begin with, $820. So it's, it's all possible. But I, you know, I devoted myself uh, to feeling successful. I was wearing suits like this before I could afford them. Uh, most people procrastinate because they're unsure, so just do it. And, uh, but I, I've never had a problem just doing it. Because one of the things is you learn as a young uh, combat infantry officer is time costs lives. Uh, we overanalyze because we're unsure. We're not overanalyze. We don't overanalyze because we are not sure um, if it'll work or not. We're more worried about on the emotional side it embarrassing us.